Hello and welcome back to Hexhedron Plays Slay the Spire. My name is Kenneth and today we're going to be continuing our last run, which uh, doesn't really have too much going on yet. We've picked like after image and wraith form and burst. We'll see if we can make anything happen. I will, this video will probably be lore 2 and 3 if this is under my control at all. I guess it's axe, not floor, because floor is each individual room in the spire. I'd rather not start another episode halfway like last episode. Picked up Eternal Feather, so now we can just pass through rest sites to heal. Or four, which isn't a ton, but it's better than nothing. Or for this shop, or this shop. I think I like this shop more because we have two chances for Golden Idol or something. I don't know if that's like a first floor only thing though. Probably something I should have realized by now, whether events can show up on multiple floors. Yeah, let's just do this. That was probably a waste of that zero energy attack, I now realize. Whoops. Whoops, wrong order there too. Definitely should have after image first. Wraith form or Caltrops? I guess Caltrops is fine for the time being. We can dodge and roll for next turn, and a strike does nothing. Nothing here does anything. Can we keep something for next turn? Retain. Wraith form or a strike or something, but uh, otherwise, I guess we'll just do that. We'll probably keep Wraith form and maybe try and play it next turn. Depending on what he does. Yep, we have enough block, so. Good enough. Keep burst. Burst, dodge, and roll is probably our best option there for now. Can get three block with three, with uh, three strikes. We'll defend once. Just to take nothing. Every time he attacks us, that's good because he will damage himself on our thorns. It has been pretty hard to get through that so far. Definitely want to dodge and roll. So I think we continue to hold on to first. don't actually know if Eternal turn will ever come up against a shelled parasite that we want to burst in this deck with him this week. He's only got six coming in and our after image covers up uh, most of our defensive needs. I almost probably should have picked a strike there, thinking about it, if that's the case. Skin can't get through. I guess we'll just hold on a strike after all. We just need to will his down his plated armor slightly more than we already have. The predator. And of course now he decided to attack with a big attack. The moment I decide to change my tactics. That is what? 12, 17. Enough block. So I guess we're predatoring next turn. Skills didn't deal quite enough damage to hurt him there. Good predator turn. And a good flying knee turn. Yeah, you're dead soon enough. Did us twice more. Get it over with. Or just die like that. That also works. Master will stab. Probably never going to make this work in this deck at the moment. Distraction, I think, is good enough. Vampires. Don't think I'm going to do it. Last time it hindered us quite a lot. Can't take this every time it shows up. We do have a higher max, so it won't be as bad, but uh, no thank you. Maybe if we ever have 100 HP and come up to him again. A looter and a mugger. I do hope this is the right path that I wanted to head down. Yeah, it is. So I did kind of just auto-click it there. Don't think we can kill anyone this turn, fortunately. That is 26, 29, 35. Caltrops is worth playing, so is all this other stuff. Nope, oh, that's our first hand out of the way. I know it's going to hurt a lot. 
It is way too many cards. To kill you. Mountain roll probably for next turn. Burst again. And now burst. Distraction if we want. I don't know that we want to. In this circumstance, it's probably better just to strike three times for guaranteed damage and then see what this gives. It was not worth it. First for now. He is going to escape, it looks like. Oh, there goes our money. A little bit of it anyway. Got mugged yet again. I think that's a pretty good uh, indicator of how well a run is doing, though, if we get mugged or not, so I'm not too excited that we did. Riddle with holes, aggro throw, or deflect. I think deflect is good enough in a wraith form deck. More so than I normally think it is. Entry and a sphere guardian. Probably are going to hold on to this for quite a while. Fort sees any use. Like that enough, I guess. And you are indeed now just dead. What does distraction potentially give us? There is the issue that I don't know. Like, unlike a game like Hearthstone or something where I played hundreds of hours, I don't know what a random skill could potentially give us to, like, hope for that, like, one in. 20 odds of success. I think we do just skip it. We could just burst distraction and maybe get something amazing. But I'd rather just definitely not take damage. But even though it's slightly more boring play, do that. Still could happen in the future that, uh, in a future turn that is, that we get those two cards. This is pretty not good looking. After image first. There's a deflect, which is why I put it in the deck. Definitely don't think we are wraith forming this turn. Oh, we're taking like seven or something. I think it was seven. Better, I think, is fine. Still can't malaise. Flying the survivor, also fine. Hold on to burst, I guess. Oh, no need to malaise. Even though it has taken up two of our hand spots now, since we've not done it. First distraction, finally. Expertise and an outmaneuver. Outmaneuver is alright. Probably just everything that isn't a strike. No need to expertise now, as far as I know. Unless we want to get rid of that dazed in our deck. Which I guess is actually okay. It actually didn't happen though. At the same time. We flying need this turn, right? So I may take Wraith Form. Get that up and running. Could get our Afflect, so we will try for that. Did not get. Hold on to a survivor for now, I guess. I bet Burst Malaise would break through his artifact on second consideration. Uh, that's more damage than I want to take, so it's not Flying Knee. Though it would help out a lot next turn. I'll hold out for Burst Malaise. Even though it's a little late to be considering that in this battle. I think with that... We'll probably get hit for Strength twice, or Weaken? Probably Weaken, I think, is the order that that goes in. Can't kill you. Oh, block up, I think. 
It's burst. A defend. I don't think there's going to be much longer left in this. Flying and take four damage. That's fine. The strike. It's not going to block up anymore, so. Just dead. A weak potion. Maybe you could have Dex Potion in that battle and saved a lot of HP. It's definitely one of those games I completely forgot about potions from getting there. Let's see what we get from cards first. Upgrade Leg Sweep. Another Dodge and Roll. Or Calculated Gamble. I think Leg Sweep is usually worth it. Did take Predators. Kind of fits along with more two cost cards we have in case we get anything interesting. The future that makes us cheaper. Speculated Gamble is always alright though. As is Dodge and Roll, which we have one of already, but it's not upgraded or anything, so take Leg Sweep. I guess a weak potion is probably more damage saved than a block potion. Which I hope is the case since I've gone on that assumption many times now. Master Strategy is pretty good. A maneuver, Crippling Poison, Caltrops again. Let's stick to removing cards. Play safer. And then probably pick up Caltrops still. Can I say? I think it's probably one of the better powers this class has. But you are kind of planning to take damage when you play a Caltrops. Do you know what they say about planning to fail? That was a joke, by the way, before anyone seriously thinks. Oh, I meant the opposite of that uh, saying. Caltrops. We'll just defend up. And Adrenaline. I guess first. Definitely wrong order for all that. Already are good on everything else. So let's go for energy next turn. Keep this dodge and roll. Starting to hit us for a bit more. So leg sweep and dodge and roll him maybe. Yep, that is good enough. And that extra energy for next turn. Keep a survivor. Can weaken him further if necessary. It's also a good malaise moment. It's malaise. It's gonna hurt a lot, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. For the duration of this battle. Just like after image through everything else. First dodge and roll. And then set up for a wraith form next turn. We're just looking for a way to get through this book. Time. That'll be a leg sweep for next turn, I'm sure. Though he is six turns weak already, so maybe not the greatest idea. Oh, still need the block, so we'll take it. I hold on to deflect, even though I would like to keep that predator. May just be dead on us this turn. First distraction, see what interesting stuff we get. Phantasmal killer and bullet time. Sure. Don't want to keep a wound. Yep, smiling mask. The merchant's card removal service now only always costs 50 gold. I think we unlocked that at some point and then hadn't seen it since. At least look at this. Mask worn by the merchant? He must have spares. Sure. I think our weak is good now. We don't need a sucker punch. We don't need any poison. This is a skip. Definitely heal us up. We have a Sneko. Oh, unfortunately for you, we have a pretty good deck. With, like, leg sweeps and stuff. Get you out of the way. 
Unfortunately, we just drew all that stuff, though. You'll retain... Probably Leg Sweep? Though it doesn't get redrawn, so its energy cost doesn't change. Just Leg Sweep, sure. I guess we could have after image first, but I did want to put Caltrops down instead with how much block we're, de we're getting already. We can after image now. There's our strike. And we need now get a malaise. I don't think we're going to throw that in this turn, since, since he's going to hit us for such a large amount. What is our free skill? Doppelganger, not playing that either, game. This is not looking very good. We can take 15 damage, which I'd rather not do. Guess we can dodge and roll to open up next turn in that case. Or we can strike, strike, doppelganger. Make more use of our hand. Malaise deal four, which is better than a dodge and roll. Whatever, let's just do this. Take nine instead. Get that out of the way. Did just throw out everything. Definitely not a good idea there. Leg sweep is good enough. Flying knee, predator. And we'll hold on to ni neither of these, since they're too high cost. I guess when you're confused, you don't really want to retain cards that you aren't playing, so you're usually not playing them because they're high cost. Hold on to burst, definitely, here, I guess. We have two two-cost things? We do not. I guess we're just going to ignore our attacks. And then bursting something that's three costs usually works out to some extent. Though I don't think this turn it does. Burst, a deflect. Oh, that actually didn't matter. There's accuracy, but we're not going for shivs. Don't need to play lots of cards in turn. Well, it does give us after image benefit, but not really anything else. Since you want zero cost skills instead. Out maneuver in that case could be alright. But it does kind of clog up our deck, I've noticed. I think there's a skip. Right or left? I'm leaning right. Don't need to go to that other shop. Paper crane. And is with weak, deal 50% less rather than 25% less. That is quite good with our weak that we've set up so far. Let's not fight that elite. Even though an unupgraded elite might be better than these two unupgraded normal enemies. I think we go all in on this slaver. And by all in, I mean we're still defending some. Or else we're probably going to die otherwise. late to dex potion, I think, on this turn. Consider it on a later turn. Let's weak you for a while. In which case, I'll probably still defend. Guess a distraction could give something better than that strike. Fortunately, did not. I think we'll still just get rid of that. There's our leg sweep. I think that is good enough to play this turn. Now we're fully blocked up. Get a neutralize on you and flying knee you. Hold on to our burst. I would like to play Caltrops this turn. Burst a malaise twice could be great on the shelled parasite. Still take six. That'll probably put the 
Felt Parasite out of commission, though. If you play this, and then this, that'll only be a four. I honestly think we still do it for four. Take no damage this turn, pretty much. Well, we're still taking some damage, as you can see. But he's pretty much out of this game. Spray form. Then burst or caltrops? Probably caltrops first. I am allowing myself to take the smallest of damage, which isn't great at our current HP level. Let's hold on to a deflect. Even though Predator would be nice. I don't think you're going to be alive long enough for another neutralized matter. Then again, it does deal three damage. That's not nothing. Oh, you just died to <laughs> our wraith form. It didn't even matter. Now we just slowly kill the shelled parasite who can't even hurt us, really. First, a leg sweep, because why not? Hold on to Survivor. We would like a blur or something now. Rarely seem to get blur. I don't remember what rarity is. I have sworn it wasn't that rare, but I guess I'm mistaken. Guess we should have done this first. To actually wear down his plated armor. Oh, he takes six against us now, so all you need to get hit like. Once more. Yep, that's enough. You get another malaise, potentially, or a cloak and dagger, which I think is better. This block, a little damage, and even though I'm not going to build towards shivs, it synergizes well enough being a skill. Lab for some potions. Just a swift potion, then I think we're banning everything else. This artifact potion is probably better than this dex potion, but this dex potion would have helped so much in battles like that last battle so that I just keep ignoring it for some reason. Question marks, I think. Mover card or upgrade all strikes and defends? I think upgrading our defends is good. That usually makes a difference. I'd rather have four defends upgraded than remove one strike in that situation. I have a bird and some chosen. Or a chosen, not some chosen. And it's immediately malaise. It's chosen as well for like six. Now it seems pretty alright. Just gonna hit you with that backstab since we can't get this bird down. We don't have enough energy to hit you three times. We need one more. If we got adrenaline with a swift potion, that would work. This doesn't count as an attack hit, I'm pretty sure. That's going to be a leg sweep then. And then... Probably a strike on the Chosen. It's going to hold out for the turn we hit you three times. Or just uh, get our... Um, Caltrops going, then you'll just kill yourself on us. defend fully, I think, here. No more than that, though. This is a turn, for sure. No block turn, for sure, but uh, a turn. Take seven damage. I think we definitely need to Swift Potion next turn. Get through these days. Mm -hmm. 
can't once again attack three times, so I think we need to dodge and roll. Caltrops. And flying knee, I think. Make this plausible. Survivor for the more block next turn. Which we're not going to wraith for him, I don't think. That is one big hit coming in. I think that is definitely a leg sweep again. First leg sweep? Sure. Then just hold on to the predator, I'd imagine. That's three attacks. Even though he would have done a ton of damage to himself, I think we need to do that to not get hurt as much as we otherwise would have. Now we can just Predator the bird. For exactly enough. Doppelganger, huh? Pretty useless and don't want to put Daze in my deck, so... Carry it over. How much HP did we come into this battle with again? I'll drink this just to put slightly less dazes in our deck. Well, actually, it's the same mount. But we do take no damage because of it. That's just as good in my world. 12, 22. I guess we burst dodge and roll here. Unfortunately. Hold on to this strike just in case it's enough next turn. Almost certainly should be right. Just barely. Accuracy, piercing whale, or caltrops plus. Let me go for the caltrops plus. We have one more battle between us and a rest. And this guy is not joking around immediately. That is enough of a defend. I am leaning Caltrops. In case, though we may need after image to survive. I'm just going to hope we deal enough damage with sources like this. Not have to worry about that. Bunch more damage coming in. Not quite good enough. We are going to be at 4 HP now. Yes, please. Burst malaise. We have an adrenaline still that I don't think we're going to draw at all, so... Got to happen. Keep power. I think our cloak and dagger is probably better for the block and a bit of damage, but uh, maybe we'll just go straight for block. So I am still worried he's going to hit us for some crazy amount, if only minus six. It apparently shouldn't have been. That'll be more than enough. Now we just hold on to regular defend again. Don't think explosive potions trigger his malleable. I think we can just finish him off this turn regardless. This is also fine. Just uh, play things slightly more cheeky, I guess. Then we have to. Oh, we survived. Does that mean this deck is any good? Probably not. Another Leg Sweep or another Cloak and Dagger. I don't mind seeing Leg Sweep often, but this one was upgraded from the start. Made it extra good. Whereas now we have the opportunity for an upgraded Cloak and Dagger, which we don't have, and it still gives some block and allows us to attack a little bit at the same time. 
But it doesn't really fit our archetype that well, so I think having one is more than enough, and maybe if we ever upgrade it, that'll be good. That is right, this is probably what's been saving us, which is why they've been doing so much less damage than I expect them to. Paper Crane. Maybe I'll Leg Sweep after all. The weeks are extra good. Definitely need to be a rest. Will we survive this collector? Yet to be seen. I think we just start with a malaise. Even though we don't have burst or anything. Are we going to be debuffed at all? Not yet, but I think I will consider drinking it. I almost did commit by saying we will drink it, but uh... What can we do to these guys? I think a leg sweep is real good, and then probably a caltrops. Or a dodge and roll. Probably a dodge and roll first. To save some HP immediately. Now we adrenaline into two caltrops. Definitely slightly better. And defend twice. Here's our artifact potion, I guess. I would like to Wraith Form if possible, but we don't have the energy really to do that. And this other stuff. Thank you. We can hold out a turn, I guess, on explosive potions. They're still vulnerable and frail. Did avoid a week, I guess. These guys gotta go. Wow, we can't hurt you without a predator. I guess as long as we block for 10, we're okay. But we can't really block for 10 that easily. With the burst, I guess. But I would rather Predator and then Caltrops. And hold on to burst or something. What is that something in that sentence, though? I guess getting after image started sooner is better. He is now way stronger. Can I like sweep you? Guess we should definitely after image first then. a leg sweep again for next turn. And then if we can just jump from leg sweep to leg sweep, you shouldn't be able to ever do anything to us. Now we hold on to deflect. Now's a good turn to wraith form if we get it. We did not. Distraction first. Get adrenaline. Another leg sweep. It is a waste for this turn, so we'll save it for next turn. need to deflect either at the moment. We will need to once we get Wraith form going. This is a good leg sweep predator turn. Keep the other leg sweep. Not sure what he's going to do here. We'll Wraith form then in that case. I don't remember if he respawns his minions. Is he going to? Did indeed. That's a bit tough. He's weak. I think that is going to be weeks on these guys now. That's 20 coming in. Probably a defend then. And hold on to dodge roll. At least they're going to wreck each other pretty quickly on our... 11 thorns. I've got 16 damage in. We're already fully blocked up. Neutralize on the collector to keep that going. We hold on to burst. Let us dodge roll for next turn for now. Should have deflected for that 3 damage. Got used to not doing it earlier, and now it's going to bite us a little bit. Or not. I would like them to die this turn, so I would like to hit them each if possible. I guess I'd rather be a flying knee and a strike. 
we can still defend such. Wow, hit the wrong target. Definitely one of the slower collector fights I've ever had. But we are pretty effective at neutralizing him. That's going to be a leg sweep we hold on to this time. That'll be a dodge roll we set up. I think that was technically more damage, the cards we chose to play there, than what looked like to be the normal order. Infinitely keep you weak still. Let's just deflect for next turn. First dodge and roll again. And probably deflect once. Whoops, guess we didn't need to. Underestimating how much we uh, can really get done, I guess. Cloak and Dagger is a good keep, or Leg Sweep again. So I guess we should have Leg Sweeped then over the Strike. That'll be you weakened for probably the rest of this battle now. We don't want to keep for next turn. Probably not Deflect. One of these two should do it. Might actually be able to kill you now. Not quite enough. It probably will be with a strike. They should just run away. Which they did. Oh, that was easy and hard at the same time. If I can describe it that way. Bullet time. We did say that might be a good choice last time we saw it. We'll take it. And then probably pick some higher cost cards. Which we can with Ore now if we want. I'd rather get Tiny House though, really, in this case. Did we ever play more than six cards? That potentially only really blocks out burst and adrenaline turns, I think. I don't think we're going to go for it. Get our tiny house then, Ore. Get our predator upgraded. Give us more incentive to play that more than we have been. Another skill, a skill then draw two cards, or an attack. This is a skill that actually does some damage at times, which is why I'm kind of leaning towards it, but the sooner we get to our Leg sweeps the better, I think, in this deck, so more card draw and block is good. Guess we're just going to slowly tank through everything and try to make our way to Time Eater, it seems. Finally a more suited deck for him, I think, since we don't play a ton of cards. So left shop or right shop? I think right shop's better. Hope we have three Darklings, we will slowly and steadily try and get through now. Dodge roll, deflect, hook and dagger, axe stab, shiv, strike, probably a defend over backflip since I don't know if we want to skip anything next turn that we could draw. Definitely don't have any thorns yet. I think we kill this Darkling as much as I'd rather not just yet. This is basically what we set up for first turn. It'll be the last time we kill, so we'll just get weakened and such a little bit. There's our bullet time. Great turn to get it on. Wraith form, Caltrops, Caltrops. <laughs> Leg sweep this right guy, I guess, for now. And left one. I guess they'll both be weak for a while now, so that's good. We'll definitely kill the right one first still, though. And now they're all back. After image, well laid plans. Caltrops and defend, probably. We are going to take some big hits here. 
We are still near full HP though, so that should be fine. Oh, you actually just killed yourself on us. Can I kill you def before you defend? I think the answer to that is no. Even with a backflip into something. Let's set up weak on you. Then probably just strike you. You'll kill yourself on us this turn. And you'll probably come back next turn. I don't think we can get rid of 40 HP. First dodge roll in that case. Then keep a cloak and dagger. You kill yourself on us this turn. We just need to deal 24 damage to you. I guess it's less than 24 even. Just need to fend through it. Yep, that is enough. You're both dead. No problem. Well, you respawn before uh, kill each other. I kind of forgot that's the order things happened in. And we should have definitely bullet timed first, but I guess it doesn't matter. But you're still dead. Footwork for another power? Did we ever take that Cloak and Dagger plus? I think the answer was no. I think we still will and take footwork. We'll skip it, that is. I'd say that a bit weirdly. And it is technically worth bullet timing, I think. Not sure who it's worth really uh, weakening the most. I think we should do damage to you while we still can for free. I couldn't kill you, so this probably would be weak or something. Uh, in that case, maybe should have Ancient Potioned? I guess it was Wound, so... Wrong either way. 29 damage. Not enough, unfortunately. Caltrops. Probably still Predator you. That, uh, that is 6 damage. Rather you kill yourself on our thorns at some point. Start weakening you. Like we can't drink our potion currently. Take the strike. Don't think we'll have time to wraith form this battle. Can I defend for 12 and then kill you? Answer is yes. How can I kill you is the next part. Probably no, fortunately. Keep a strike still, I think. We're gonna need a lot of block for the turn he triggers. It's probably this one. Uh, I put that on the wrong enemy, didn't I? I was gonna kill him that way. Oh. Still gotta do it. Keep backflip now, I think. Definitely this this run for some of these multi-enemy fights have been doing things backwards. Not sure why. Flying knee that repulsor. Here's uh some good powers, finally. That we've been waiting to play for a while. Didn't even need to block that turn, so I guess we shouldn't have gotten rid of a daze. What are these guys doing? Just attack me and lose already, Spiker. Wraith form probably would have won us the game already, I'm sure. I mean, we're fine to Predator. Probably. a little bit of damage. Uh, it's over. <laughs> that fight that went on too long is over. Dodge and roll. We're only like two rooms into this floor, like 10 minutes in. Not the greatest. 
Happy Flower with how long these battles go on. And remove for 52, so we'll definitely do that. Put a strike to make things go even slower. Probably not worth it. Is there anything that no longer synergizes that we should remove? Backstab, I think, is still fine. He has Cloak and Dagger. Block, it's better than... It's defense for the moment, I think. I guess I'd rather draw Defend than a Cloak and Dagger, even if it slows down our progress a bit. With Footwork, it's at least 8. I guess it is just a strike. <laughs> then we'll start with Oddly Smooth Stone, rather than Happy Flower, after all. Could have picked up both. In respect, may have been the best option. Noxious Fumes, just to get extra damage out for how long our, our runs go. Did skip the first one we saw a long time ago. Alright, let's match some cards. Anything we want here? Definitely don't want Dagger Throw. Which we can pick, apparently. Lies Deep Breath. I'm tempted to go for that. Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile, draw one card. Let's take it. We've never picked it before. Get Nightmare. Hope at least we didn't get that Rive. I think we're going to skip these. These, uh... Elites. Malaise? First Malaise? Get this Maw's strength out of here. Good turn to Caltrops, if you ask me. Let's see if we get anything else worth playing. Just hoping for after image, I was gonna say. Still play everything that is a power, I guess. No reason not to keep Cloak and Dagger. More weak, or why not? I don't quite remember what Maw does to us. Maybe setting up for a slow battle wasn't the greatest thing. It does slowly strength back up. Oh, let's distraction. There's our blur. That's really good to finally get. Guess we deep breath just in case it's something we want to play. Kept our block. Not that it matters, it looks like. Though we get to continue blurring it. Give me a blur again, maybe? Split time is good here. Yeah, I think this will be a fine battle. Leg sweep single handedly carrying us, I think, at this point, with uh, Paper Crane. Keep our backflip. Some more options next turn. Definitely, though we maybe should have backflipped first. Not that I think we could, in rash respect, play both of those. Maybe not the greatest turn to Wraith form. But we're still only going to take 4 damage because of it, so... So I know. Get our first... Blur again in a little while. That is a lot of damage coming in, I'm now realizing, so... You take that. That. And then we take nothing. And then you probably kill yourself. Yep. Ancient Potion and an Escape Plan. Take as many Escape Plans as we want. We're healing up a lot with uh, Eternal Feather, it seems. Well, not a lot, a lot, but uh, 
more than we would expect. Six. I think we will go through this elite. Which may have been a bad choice, seeing who it is. We'll set up for the long, the long haul here. We'll get our next leg sweep quickly. Instead we get a malaise. I think we can play and be happy with There's a bullet time. Can we afford to do this first? We can. Quite a good bullet time. Is there any order stuff we have to worry about here? I don't think so. So we'll just get a ton more weak on you for the rest of this battle. Play all our stuff, and then probably hold on to this deflect for next turn. Probably about to get a bunch of burns in like a second here. At least they're pretty diluted. Could dodge and roll once for next turn, then carry over another dodge and roll. You are in tangible currently, so no need to strike. I definitely want a distraction next turn, I think, so... Just dodge and roll me. And carry over another dodge and roll. He is no longer intangible. He's going to hurt himself for a lot. It seems. Good turn to play that. We'll hold on to a burst, I think, over dodge and roll. Fortunately, did not get to play our distraction at all. So funnily enough, we don't even need to defend here. So... Probably just hold on to one of these guys. Probably still a burst. Which I guess we should have played Detain then for Wraith form. Kind of slow though. Better? To get some actual progress on this guy. For once. And take 5 damage, I guess. Well, I should have kept a leg sweep over a burst. Still not as hurt. Still not hurting us at all. He is free to attack again. Get a calculated gamble, which I think we will actually use. We did not get anything good. Nope, whatever you say. Bunch more burns coming in. Gonna have to be used to it at this point. Just hit him for one over and over again until we get through this. So slow. This is going to be like an hour long video when we started on like the second floor. That's pretty crazy. He's dead. Get out of here, Mr. Nemesis Man. Get out of here. Leg sweep and bullet time upgraded. Bullet slime. Bullet slime? Bullet time. Real good to upgrade. We did get another catalyst. We're so far. We don't really want to cut it halfway through a floor either, so we'll just keep going. The madness that is this slowest Ascension 2 the world has ever seen. A tiny chest. Just run through all these guys. Yeah, Smith something. What does Adrenaline become? Two cards, two energy. Not good enough. Fully plans probably is good, good enough though. As is Wraith form. Or Footwork. And Caltrops. I think we go with Fully plans. Keeps card of our deck, makes it more likely to draw everything else. For the time being, doesn't speed anything up, but uh, I think we're okay with that at this point. We're going on this long. This has to be a leg sweep on someone, I think. I should have after image first then, in that case. 
17 on another 11. I guess it has to be a block then. Get one of these repulsors out of here. In the next 10 years. At least get us multiple, en multiple enemies. Our thorns are real good. If we can ever get them up. Which again, pretty questionable sometimes. Yeah, if we don't get rid of these days guys soon, we could be in trouble this first round or our deck. Give me a strike. Gave us a dazed. Didn't have expected that much. Not retaining any days. Get a flying knee, which does not kill you, unfortunately. And you're not attacking either, so. Nothing we can do about that. I did forget we can retain two cards now. Which is what happened there. That's what happens when you play a madness of this run run so long. Good time to keep bullet time. Unintended. It's bullet time time. Yep, you're going down for sure. You're still not attacking. Oh, we should have a uh, swift potion before bullet time. On retrospect. We'll use that on that repulsor, I guess. I don't want to waste so much damage unnecessarily. Oh yeah, we have poison now. Thankful for that. Playing things in the wrong order once again, I see. Yeah, I just killed that guy already. Don't even know why we defended to keep a daze. I am so done with this deck. How many more battles do we have? One, two, three, four. This is gonna be a while, isn't it? Isn't it? We've gone for a push potion again there, I think. We still haven't even seen our third Caltrops. There we are. It's our strongest one too. Um now what? Dodge and roll defend, or malaise. Malaise kind of just gets rid of this guy for us this battle, pretty much. Dodge and roll then in that case. Now what do we want to do, another leg sweep? Extraction to a deadly poison. Probably going to get hit pretty hard by his explosives in a little while here. Or not. We'll just die. On us. Outmaneuver Glass Knife or Terror. I don't think Terror is that good in this deck. This makes our Predator deal 30 occasionally. Which is progress. I think we just skip all this. Where do we take this for the madness that is this deck? Um... Sacrifice. I don't know. Whatever. Go. Go, go, go. We're up to 58 minutes on this episode. What the heck is going on? Eat breath for nothing? Get another card out of our deck. We can see something we actually do want to see. Swift's Potion and then Bullet Time. Uh, should have escaped plan first, actually. Definitely played that turn in the wrong order. Guess we're thankful to have Predator now. Or, uh, the Vulnerable for Predator, I mean. After a minute, Caltrops, Caltrops. Neutralize. Leg sweep and strike. Good enough. Covers both our bases for a turn. Leg 
sweep Noxus Fumes, and then we'll keep Wraith Form and Strike, I guess. Just waiting for the turn we get extra energy somehow. This flying knee. And another leg sweep. I'm surprised even with such a large deck we can keep weak up so often. That'll be a regular defend, I think. Good enough. Editor and... These are all okay choices. I don't think he's gonna attack next turn, probably. Hope I lied. He is going to attack this turn, apparently. Get any card draw out of our hand once again. Before we bullet time. Uh, wrong order, once again. Continuing to wrong order the attacks. I hope we did like half his HP there. I hope we at least get through the boss, or else this probably wasn't worth it. A survivor. Which I am okay with. Why are you still here? I am also asking myself that very question right now. I think we definitely saved Predator, I suppose. We can not burst anything, so burst Predator is what we're keeping. This is definitely the most impotent we've made enemies so far, though. Which is pretty fun to see. He is almost dead. It's all we can really hope for. In this absolute madness of a run. Up to 12 poison on him. Unseizing top. Don't even think that's going to work in this deck. Open dagger, prepared, or backflip. Prepared will help us get through our deck faster, which I think is necessary. If I don't forget any burns or anything like that, can get rid of them. Another three enemy battle. Not a fan. Can we kill this repulsor time? Can. I guess should have kept deflect. Never gonna remember that apparently. Hopefully this thorns guy will actually kill himself on us for once. And an escape plan will go down for sure. There's our wraith form. Definitely think we want Noxus fumes down as soon as possible against these guys though. And to defend up at least once. It's going to be a footwork first then. I'll be on the Spirit Guardian. That Shiv, that is. We'll hold Wraith Form for next turn with our Flying Knee. This would have been a nice turn to play those two dodge and rolls. Guess we're committed to the Caltrops. Definitely should have artifacted that frail as well, in retrospect. Didn't even realize for the longest time that he frails us. There's like a ton we can do here. Like, way too much. Probably terror, adrenaline, and malaise. We're still gonna take a big hit, unfortunately. We did get burst at the end, which uh, may have been better in the other order then. I think we keep this. I don't want to lose here though and make everything have been kind of for naught. In which case, continue drawing, that's good. Play everything then. 
Leg sweep plus you. Leg sweep you. Well, we probably should have kept one of those in retrospect for next turn. Pretty sure I said well really weirdly there. Oh well. You're dead with a predator, but it's not like you're doing anything else to us this turn. If we get 13 block, it's worth it. Yep. Neutralize again. Everything else. I think the end is finally in sight for this battle. Oh my god, a blur. If we get one of those naturally, this is just literally over for our boss. And, and, you. Sure. Couple of dodge and rolls again, and you just killed yourself on us. Another deflect, I think, is good. One more enemy to get through. Three darklings will be kind of scary, to be honest. Escape plan. Dodge and roll. Set up for future turns more than anything. Are weakened. You. We'll try and kill you like next turn or something, I guess. It should not be hard with an explosive potion, even though it doesn't hit you guys at all. Don't think we need to malaise these guys, which means wraith form after image. That is probably not fast enough. Oh, should after image first. We're still gonna throw this down. Oh, I guess we can wait a turn since next turn they definitely won't uh, have anything going. Blockwise. Good turn for bullet time. Should we get it? Let's try for it. Did not. Goodbye, distraction, and goodbye. What else are we saying goodbye to? Can't play everything, so it probably has to be flying knee. They just make the best use of our energy this turn. Leg sweep on you, for sure. Oh, should have foot worked first. If we were going to do that, which I guess we can avoid not doing now, to some extent. Go for extra damage on that last guy. can't kill you except with terrorists. Actually, we will. It's fine. Just buys us a bit of time. Should have kept that defend. But we're predatoring, so we'll have quite a full hand regardless. Let's just defend twice. Make it slow. And wait for a turn where they're all kind of in line. Like this one, especially when we have bullet time. Oh, so, like sweep you. Hell traps. Flying knee. Let's get you out of the way. We get reflex, which we can't make any use of. Oh, that was a mistake since we can't draw, so we are just saving the Fleck now. And I guess we hope for Survivor. This has been such such a sketchy run from start to end. But somehow it is working. Definitely should have shivved the second one in retrospect. Nope, they're all ready to attack us again. Leg sweep. Gate plan. Backflip, so why not? Way to deflect and a prepared. We'll just fish for cards to keep next turn. Probably a predator for sure. Actually kill someone. Then probably a deflect beyond that to be flexible with what we draw. Oh, and put down Wraith Forms. No need to play this, but may as well. Oh, that was discard some stuff, wasn't it? Oh my god. 
What have I done? Turns out it didn't even matter as much as I was making it to, ma to matter. Since you're just going to die, then you're probably going to deal 22 to yourself. So we just need to block through this turn. And then next turn we should be able to finish them off. Just through normal means. Nope, you just die. Shiv's not necessary. Just just get me to the boss. Let's let's figure this out. We're at 57 HP for time eater. Not ideal. May as well drink both of these. Leg sweep, terror. Backstab? Oh, but it has begun. This is a malaise, right? Hope for adrenaline here? Which we didn't get. I think we still could hope for adrenaline here. No need to deflect. Adrenaline. No adrenaline. We do, do just burst malaise, I think. We don't need to deflect, so we won't. We can play like three more cards. I think that is still a bullet time. Then we can leg sweep. Then footwork. We'll keep after image and caltrops. You are doing absolutely nothing to us. So caltrops, noxious flames, and after image in the exact wrong order. That makes us still take three damage because I'm a moron. It's losing my mind after how long this has been going on for. Caltrops, adrenaline, I guess. More caltrops. Definitely need A block. I think. Or we just weaken you further for a long time. We can't play six cards, so. Just dodge and roll. In preparation of next turn, and then we can. Strike. Let's keep distraction, and then the predator. Nah, uh, we need leg sweep for next turn, I'm sure. Or not. Both well, distractions see what we get. We get an alchemize, which is a explosive potion. Ten damage that I'm sure won't matter. He does gain strength whenever we trigger that, so we may want to play a bit slower than we have been. He will basically just kill himself on us. Depending on what we do. So, like, this is a good time to just chill a turn, I think. Paired and deflect, then? Honestly, probably backflip and deflect. We'll probably heal a lot, now that I think about it. Wraith form, finally. And then pass. Yep, and pass. The flex for now is probably fine. Another leg sweep and dodge and roll. World's slowest time eater fight incoming. Play six cards, it looks like. Still. Are we bullet time into that? Honestly, there's no need. Anything. First leg sweep. And then hold on to these guys for next turn or something. Or after he, uh... He triggers his... Time thing again. Don't know what triggers his heal, I may have said already. If 
it's a heal up to half HP no matter what, and this is probably going to be a pretty bad turn. Oops, that was a mistake. Forgot we can't draw. It looks like it might actually just be a heal up to half HP, which did make that a bad turn like I predicted. So, let's play our cards carefully here. He did purge his weak now I look at it. I never noticed that. So we'll just get all that back up and running. That's good enough. If <laughs> this is how you have to cheese future ascension floors, don't know if I'm sold, but uh, I imagine this is just a me thing. Wow, we can play one whole card. I guess it's dodge and roll. First and deflect. Are going to heal again? That isn't a heal as far as we can tell. Pretty sure it's just a full buff icon whenever he heals. I think we wait a turn on these guys. In which case, let's burst, dodge, and roll. Not weak, which is unfortunate. It's our leg sweep, which I do think we actually have to hold. That'll be these guys instead, even if it makes things slower. Oh, he is weak. He just is dealing 21 damage anyways. In which case, he's probably going to hit for multi-attacks in the future. Makes this ideal again. Still not a full heal. No way to draw. Harder than this. Oh, both time. Play everything. He's at 59. Still not a heal. We just hold on to our tax here again, I think. Still not a heal. He is short on 3 HP and is going to block. Oh my god. He heals before it is over. I'm going to be kind of mad. Which he won't. He'll die to poison now. Oh, that's Ascension 2 done. Easy peasy, right? No one had any questions that I was going to make it that far? Uh... Air daggers. 70 hundred... I can't even speak anymore. 702. I almost said 70 hundred and two. Not quite that many points. Up to... Almost 4,000 total now. Sentimo level 3 unlocked, which should make elites harder if I remember correctly. One more game as Silence Brigade and Rex unlocks. Oh, I don't know about you, but that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Do give a like or dislike so I know how our things stand. And consider watching next time. See you then.